Hi everyone, so I'm back with a great off-campus opportunity and this one is with Agoda. So if you don't know by now, Agoda is hiring for software engineering interns right now. So this is a great opportunity for all of you college students that are looking for an internship because Agoda is a pretty great company to start your career off with. They have some amazing perks and the pay and stipend is also pretty decent. So in this video, we'll be talking more about the role, we'll be talking about the eligibility and of course, I'm going to give you guys tips on how to get your resume shortlisted and I'm going to give you guys tips on how to clear the OA and the interviews. So everything that you need for cracking this role is going to be within this video. So make sure to watch the complete video and then apply ASAP. The last date to apply is 6th of November. The registrations will be closing then. So make sure that you apply before that. The link to apply is going to be in the description box. So prepare a banging resume, move your best foot forward and go for this role. And if you're someone who's struggling with off-campus placements, if you're not able to get a call back with your resume, you feel like you're lacking somewhere but you don't know how to improve or you're struggling with DSA, you're struggling with development, you don't know what to do, what to pick or any other issues you're getting in your placement journey, then you can connect one to one with me where I'll personally help you, guide you, mentor you and make sure that you get everything needed by you to crack your dream company. I've already helped hundreds of students. You can check the testimonials out on my profile. So the link to connect one to one with me again is going to be in the description box. All right, coming back to this opportunity. First of all, it's actually a very good opportunity because Agoda is a great company. I've had people on my podcast who's, who have worked and interned at Agoda. So it is going to be a great opportunity. Now, the office location of Agoda is going to be Gurgaon and the interviews are going to be on site. This is going to be a six months internship. Okay. And again, to reiterate, the office location is going to be in Gurgaon. And I've been getting a lot of comments and messages from you guys saying that, Bhaiya, please bring some opportunities from Delhi side. So here you go. This one is in Gurgaon. They have a beautiful office in Gurgaon if you haven't seen it. It's amazing. Okay. So I already mentioned the last day to apply. You have to apply before that. But what about the eligibility? That is something that you might be wondering about. So in the eligibility, they have not mentioned about the year. They have not mentioned this year can apply, that year cannot apply. They have simply mentioned actively pursuing a bachelor's degree in computer science. Note, they have not said bachelor's of technology or engineering. They have simply said bachelor's degree related to computer science, meaning that BCA, BSc, CS are also eligible. That is what we can assume when the bachelor's word is used, right? So actively pursuing, meaning that you're enrolled in a bachelor's degree. So of course, finally, as students, 26 grads can apply, 27 grad can apply. I mean, virtually everyone can apply being a college student, but of course, it is going to be a six months internship. So it is more suited for final year and pre-final year students, okay? That is what basically I will advise you, right? Because six months internship is a long commitment and uh, it's not viable if you're a first or second year student. So of course, if you're a third or fourth year student and you feel like you have some good dev skills and you feel like you want to get the experience, go for it, okay? But they have not mentioned which year can apply. All they mentioned is actively enrolled in a bachelor's degree. That is exactly what they've said. So if you're a 26 grad, definitely go for it. If you're 27 grad and you can do the commitment, definitely go for it because it is going to be a great opportunity. And if you get shortlisted, it is going to do wonders for your career. All right, now that we passed the eligibility, let's talk a bit about how to get your resume shortlisted and a bit about the role. So again, they've not mentioned exactly what tech stacks will be working on. They've mentioned some generic things like, you know, working on like particular full stack and working with AI, cutting edge technology. Basically, they've mentioned some generic things. They've not mentioned exactly, which is again expected because Agoda is one of the big tech companies. It is considered one of the top companies because the pay is very good. And generally, companies like this do not push you into a particular stack. They do not push you into a particular, you know, learning model. Instead, they pretty much look at your resume, they go through it. And of course, if you clear the interviews, then you'll be given a particular thing to work on. They'll not basically force something on you. They'll not say that only this stack users can apply, this stack users cannot apply, right? But of course, the main point, the base point is that you need to have good dev skills. Okay, now, what do I mean by when I say dev skills? So this is something I really want you to listen carefully. Okay, so I want you to listen very carefully for this because this is going to be important. When I say dev, of course, you have different tech stacks you can go to. You can go to Python, you can go for data, you can go for Android, you can go for iOS. There are thousands of things you can go for development. But if you look at the market status and if you look at the companies, what they're hiring for, and if you look at what companies are having opening for, then most of the companies are actively hiring for full stack development. So I really want you to go into full stack development and put some high quality, good quality full stack projects in your resume. 
I don't mean clone projects. I don't mean portfolio website. I don't mean X Y Z management system. No, a good quality, unique project with unique features with a little bit of complexity. It should not be one page. It should have multiple pages. It should have a bit of complexity. So have a project like that in your resume. That is something that is going to help you a lot. Okay, so make sure that you have some high quality projects in your resume. The tech stacks it may not matter that much. Mern, Java, full stack, anything is fine. Of course, they have mentioned a few keywords that I'll give you in the description box, but nothing of substance they've mentioned, right? Again, they mentioned generic items like AI. Speaking of AI, of course, I always suggest you guys to keep AI in your resume. When I say a full stack project, I mean a full stack project with AI integration. See, AI is pretty much the hype these days. You cannot show me one project. You cannot show me one job description. Where they have not mentioned AI, you go and look at all of the companies I'm posting about. You go and look at all of the, you know, job postings out there. You are 100% going to see companies asking for AI skills nowadays because every company is looking forward to integrating AI and making sure that their product works seamlessly with AI. So it is important that you follow the same route. It is important you follow on the same path and you integrate AI in your own personal projects. Okay. Doing that will showcase to the company that yes, you are also AI first. You are not falling behind in the AI race. You are also keeping up with it. So use Gemini API, use GPT API, whatever it may be, but have some sign of AI in your resume. That is very important. Apart from that, if you have any hackathon experience, they'll consider it. If you have any open source experience, again they'll consider it. If you have any good coding profiles, again they'll consider it. Whatever makes you stand out, okay, you have to go for it. Whatever makes you stand out, you have to put it in your resume. You have to showcase it in your resume. Okay, exaggerate a bit if you have to. Of course, don't go overboard with it, but exaggerate a bit if you have to. But you have to show yourself a bit ahead of other students. That's why I tell you guys when you're in college, do things that will, you know, put you in a position that you're able to exaggerate about the skills. Take part in hackathon. Take part in open source. Take part in coding competitions. Work on your rating. Work on your dev skills. Work on your ranking. All of these things will definitely help you in impressing the recruiter or the hiring manager, whatever, whoever is looking at your resume. It will surely help to impress them. Now, of course, we talked about all of these things. Now, let's talk a bit about how to clear the OA and the subsequent interviews. And again, a point to note here: if you didn't fo like focus on when I said it, that the interviews are going to be on site, so you're going to have to go there for the interviews. Okay, so. Talking about how to clear the interviews, you're going to have a coding round first, the day after the registration closes and after the coding round, you're going to have interviews. So what I'll be doing, I'll be giving you guys some interview experiences in the description box. So these will be the interview experiences of people who have appeared for Agoda's internship in the past. So they'll be sharing their interview experiences, like what kind of problems they faced. But of course, it's not going to be that difficult. It's going to be around medium, medium hard, not that difficult, not easy either. It's going to be around medium to medium hard range. Okay, so I'll be giving you guys some practice questions. I'll be giving you guys some interview experiences. Have a look at that and then be prepared accordingly. Of course, you don't have a lot of time to prepare, but what you can do, you can revise at least the most important topics. And I'll also give you guys the most important topics for OAS, for coding rounds. So have a look at them. And of course, the main thing to do is apply ASAP. Today only make sure to apply because 6th of November, we don't know when it will close. I don't think they'll be closing at 12 a.m. sharp, but we don't know, right? So right now you have plenty of time. Make sure that you apply today itself. Do not postpone it for any longer. And make sure that you subscribe to the channel because I will be bringing you guys a lot more opportunities. You guys already know I've been working non-stop finding opportunities for you guys. You know, I've been uploading pretty much three to four times a day nowadays just to make sure that you guys do not miss out on any of the opportunities. So please do so do show some support if you know I'm able to help you guys in any way. Please do show some support by leaving a like, leaving a comment, and letting me know if there's any other way I can help you guys out as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Let's see you guys in the next video.